Hi, I'm Sydney, and I'm currently serving as a shelter healthcare coordinator with a whole person integrated care team. Come with me on two days of my service, one on a typical day at a San Francisco shelter clinic and another day at a special event with the SF Department of Public Health. I usually commute using public transit to one of the 20 shelters that I'm assigned to on a given day. Today, Vivian, another NHC member, and I were randomly on the same car going to our respective sites. My schedule varies from week to week, which means that I might be working in multiple very different neighborhoods of the city, even on a single day. Each shelter has a different patient population with varying focuses from substance use to gender or sexual health. Today, I'm scheduled at the Baldwin House, a former hotel that the city has repurposed as permanent supportive housing. It's located smack dab in the middle of the city, about four blocks from City Hall and even closer to the United Nations Plaza. Our medical clinic supports residents in 200 rooms at this site. Some other shelters house even more people, and some are more specialized, such as sites for women and LGBTQ folk. This is what our clinic looks like. The clinic is fully stocked, so we are able to do vitals checks, give over-the-counter medications, do wound care, obtain lab specimen, and get patients connected to more specialized or routine care. We are also available to respond to any medical emergencies that the shelter may have. Our clinic is often the only point of care that our patients have access to, so we try to lower the barrier to entry and be as approachable and accessible as possible. When I get to a clinic, I get it ready for the day, making sure the vaccine fridge is at the right temperature, checking on medications, and checking which patients need to be outreached. I check in with my clinic team, which usually consists of a health worker, a registered nurse, and sometimes a nurse practitioner or physician. One of the best aspects of working at Whole Person Integrated Care is that I get to work with a broad range of people with a range of expertise. I've learned so much about patient navigation and social determinants of health, as well as being able to shadow excellent physicians with decades of experience. Our providers employ a lot of sensitivity and empathy working with the patients, who often harbor medical traumas and complex diagnoses. This means that I spend a significant amount of time in case conferences with both my team and the case managers on the shelter staff, who see our patients on a day-to-day -day basis and are important liaisons. On a typical day, I also do outreach, respond to patients in crisis, and support the nurses and providers in the clinic. For example, there were a lot of patients who needed care coordination and wound care today. I'm also working on projects on top of my clinical work. My current project centers around overdose prevention. San Francisco's opioid overdoses are increasing at a disconcerting rate. I'm working on a way to identify shelter residents who may need further support post-overdose or may benefit from medically assisted treatments, such as methadone or buprenorphine. All right, and I'm done for the day. See you tomorrow for Project Homeless Connect. Good morning and welcome to day two. Today was an unexpectedly rainy day, but glad to say really busy and fulfilling. Today I'm serving with the entire Department of Public Health team at an event called Project Homeless Connect. It's a massive event held in an SF auditorium where unhoused people can get connected to everything from health insurance, the DMV, social security, and much more. I was with the medical team along with two of my fellow NHC members, Vishnu and Cameron. This is my second time at this event in the three months of my service and it's always been very rewarding each time. Walking in, I saw Emily, another NHC member with the dental team. It's always great to see other members out in the wild and helping the community. Today, I was triaging patients to be seen by one of the seven providers at the event. My triage team, which is one of two, saw more than 50 patients today. We helped new transplants sign up for health insurance, we got one person into a housing facility, and we connected patients to transportation to the hospital for those with more complex and urgent problems. Patients came in for wide-ranging health complaints and symptoms, from untreated diabetes to neuropathy. I'm really glad I was able to be a part of the team today. I hope you enjoyed following me for the last two days of service, and I hope it gave you a look into what I do as a shelter healthcare coordinator.